This first graph displays the class data for both A and B periods. Even at this early stage, it appears as though there are several outliers, including benches 25, 26, and 27. When calculated, the final standard deviation was 6.50, and its mean was 211.6 grams per mole. Then, when the data was checked for outliers using the 3S rule, benches 25, 26, and 27 were confirmed as outliers and were thus removed. Filtering the data produces a new graph. As is visible, the majority of the data falls between 208.4 grams per mole and 214.9 grams per mole. This short range indicates that the class data is not only accurate, but also remarkably precise. When comparing our group's data against the distribution, we find that three of the four results fall within 3% of the mean. In fact, our most inaccurate trial was only 6% off the mean, exemplifying the relative accuracy of our findings. While the first three trials are very close to the class mean, the accuracy of trial 4 could have been improved by preventing one or two of the following set procedural errors. For one, NaOH was probably added past the endpoint. This might have led to the belief that more moles of NaOH were required to neutralize the acid, and that more moles of tripartic acid were present in each sample. Consequently, the molar mass of the, for the, of the unknown for this trial would have been decreased significantly. Secondly, some KHP crystals were lost after we measured them, and before being dissolved in the water. The volume of NaOH needed to neutralize the KHP thus decreased, causing the calculated molarity of NaOH to be disproportionately small. This decrease in molarity then created a corresponding decrease in the molar mass of tripartic acid. In conclusion, the class data showed both accuracy and precision once all the outliers were removed. In comparison, our group's data was accurate but lacked precision as a result of the fourth trial. When the average molar mass, the appearance of the unknown, and the fact that the acid is tripartic are all considered, it is very unlikely that the unknown acid was in fact citric acid monohydrate. Future plans for research would include testing whether or not the unknown acid really is citric acid. Additionally, the trials could be rerun using a different base, one that would remove the need for standardization. Here are our acknowledgments, our appendix A and our appendix B, and thanks for